Greetings and salutations, everyone. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I've got a great upload for you guys. Some dogman encounters to a theory about the three-year-old boy from North Carolina to some other forested cryptids. Before we get into these encounters, though, a couple links I'd like to share. First and foremost, I'd like to share a link with you called Tromix Lead Delivery System, home of the original 458 SOCOM, owned by Tony Ramore, a true American. He designed an AR upper to be attached to your existing AR lower and blast 458 instead of 223 or 556. He designed this for our troops in the Middle East to stop truck bombs. Straight across the board, a 458 is gonna stop a truck, it's gonna stop the dog man. Tromix link is in the description below and check out all his other amazing products. Now on to my links. As you know, I rely on my Patreon, my PayPal, and my merch to help this channel to continue to grow and go. Those links are in the description below. I also have a second channel for creepy pastas, fan fiction, and scary voice acting. Stories that don't fit on this channel. Now, if that's anything that you're into, follow that link and give those stories a listen. You may just like what you hear. And I started a GoFundMe page a while back to help raise some money for urban exploration, cryptid hunting, and ghost hunting videos. We are coming up to time on those. I'm going to be starting to do it because it's drying out and getting sunny in upstate New York. Now, guys, enough of the jibber-jabber. Let's get on with these encounters, shall we? Today's first encounter is a possible dog man. Brings us to the woods of Northeast Ohio. I just saw this a couple of days ago and I'm scared, but to make this brief, I was on my walking trail behind my house, which is surrounded by fairly dense woods. Anyways, I was walking and on my way I heard quick footsteps coming from the woods. I dismissed it at first thinking it was a rabbit or a squirrel, but it kept fouling me. Anyways, I started to get a tad paranoid and that's when I was in an area where the trees and foliage was less dense and I saw it. In the trees a good distance from me was a large black wolf-like thing, but there was something very off about it. It was almost entirely black and a very dark, deep black at that. And then it began to make a very strange noise. I can only call a chipping, rabid fox-like call without any pitchy sound or rasp. I've looked up a few things it could be and my boyfriend thinks I might have seen a skinwalker. But I really doubt it. I've looked up some animal noises and nothing really matches. Any guesses? Today's second encounter is another possible dogman encounter. A couple of nights ago, I was standing outside with my roommate having a smoke, and I saw over my roomie's shoulder into the back alley just a shadow. It moved quickly, but rather fluidly, not like it was being jarred by steps. I could see the shadow reflecting off against the wall of a storage building. It was probably no taller than a human, shaped like a human, but hunched over with no discernible upper arms, but very distinct canine-esque head. It was like the shape of a pit bull, a shorter snout and heavier set. The whole being was heavy set, at least what I could see from the shadow. I tried to move to better see it, but I only caught a glimpse of what could have been a beige or gray figure. Just a hunch of a back before it was out of my sight. My heart was hammering, and as soon as I could catch my breath, I was filled with the sense of danger. Another person came outside to smoke, and I told my roomie we had to go inside immediately, because I had bad vibes to the max. Today's third encounter brings us to France. 
In January of 2018, I had an encounter with a bipedal wolf-like creature at night near Nice in France on the way home from work around 1045. I told my story that same night to my family and later to four of my friends. In January of 2019, several people from the same area of my observation were awakened around 2.30 in the morning by powerful cries. Another amazing thing, my wife, my son of 21 years, and myself were awakened as well. They were a kilometer away as the neighboring houses. At the same time, the husky of the neighbor barked louder and was more excited than we have ever heard it on that night, since its four years of being there. It's a friend who owns the dog who told me the next afternoon on the phone he was scared and was remembering my encounter a year ago. He said the lady next door to him saw a creature just like that in her garden. Today's fourth dog man encounter. This happened in April of 2017 and I live in Paca, France. And one night I saw something really strange. It was about one in the morning, I was driving with my wife and we were on our way home. She was tired so she was sleeping when this all happened. I live in a small village in the heart of the countryside and vineyards at night. I often drive full high beams because we have a lot of game that cross the road, so I try to drive carefully. I arrived at the beginning of the woods and saw two luminescent eyes on my right at the edge of the grass. I told myself right away it's a fox, so I slowed down to avoid hitting it. It decided to cross the road while I was at, what, 100 meters? I was not driving more than 60 kilometers. I saw these eyes at the height of a man, an indistinctive and massive form. It sped away at high speed when I arrived at its spot. I pounded the gas. My wife woke up suddenly and asked what had happened. I did not dare tell her. I ate fox. I don't know what it was, but it gave me a blue jolt. It was the size of a bear because I saw the silhouette and it spun into the woods. It was pretty a massive animal. I saw it on the road between Valles Surazo and Manza, where the green fences are. I've never heard of testimony in that area, and it was bigger than a Primerian shepherd style dog or even a Saint Bernard. As I remembered the facts, I had thought it was a fox. We do have wolves out here, but given its size, it was definitely not a wolf. My observation only lasted a few seconds, a minute max, to the time I arrived where it was. A massive body that was straightened from the height of its size. We could have said it was a bear, but there is none out here. It was big, easily two meters high, considering the perspective of my vantage point. It's because when I started to distinguish its silhouette in the headlights, it went off at full speed in the opposite direction. Alright guys, I'm bringing this to your attention if you guys haven't heard it already, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Bear kept him safe, says boy of three, lost in the North Carolina woods. Ernal, North Carolina. Whether it's a fancy of a child's imagination or something that actually happened, the story of a North Carolina toddler who was lost in the woods for several days in frigid temperatures, heavy rain, and it has a twist that's perfect for a child's story. The three-year-old told his rescuers that he had been taken care of by a bear. Casey Lynn Hathaway was found entangled in briars but alive on Thursday night after a massive search by the FBI. Marines based out of Camp Lejeune in eastern North Carolina, state and county law enforcement agencies, and more than 600 volunteers. He was found after authorities received a tip of a crying child. He was crying for his mother when the search party found him, according to reports. Casey had disappeared from his grandmother's backyard in Ernal, North Carolina, on the afternoon of January 21st. Casey's aunt, Brenda, said in a now-deleted Facebook post that her nephew said he hung out with a bear. 
God sent him a friend to keep him safe, Hathaway reported. According to Fox News report, God is good. Miracles do happen. Craven County Sheriff Chip Hughes backed up the bear story, telling television station WCTI that while Casey didn't say exactly how he was able to survive, he did say he had a friend in the woods that was a bear that was with him. It was Casey's cries in the woods that summoned rescuers, but by the time the boy had been pulled to safety, I didn't think it was around anybody that was crying. Wow. What do you guys think? I mean, <clears throat> speculation. A lot of people are going to probably say Bigfoot. But at three years old, I, I, my kids could distinguish a simian-type creature with a creature that has a snout. Now, kids might see a dog man as a bear. I, there's definitely a distinct difference between a Sasquatch and a bear, but the snout of a bear could be mistaken for the snout of a dog man. You guys give me what you think on that one, because it just seems weird that a bear is going to hang out with a kid, you know, just real, real baffling. I'm glad the kid's safe. I just want to hear what you guys think. Here is a final encounter. It's a unnamed, unidentified cryptid encounter bringing us back to Ohio. So my grandfather lives in an old coal mining town in southeastern Ohio, and he lives near the edge of town. He used to be soft-spoken and genuinely reserved, but the last time I visited him, he was easily startled by noises, constantly checking outside the window. And he won't let his dog outside unless he goes with the dog and he always brings his handgun with him. I asked him why he was so jumpy, and he told me it was because of something he had seen multiple times outside of his kitchen window. He claims that he has seen a tall, white, and very thin creature on the edge of his backyard, near the tree line. He tells me it has small, black eyes, and it's around eight feet tall, and that it just stands there, watching his house, and then vanishes. He said the sighting started about two months ago, and I've only seen him twice since he started to see whatever this thing is. I have no experience in anything that might be considered paranormal, but a friend pointed me in this direction. What do you guys think? What did I tell you? An amazing upload. I told you, some dogman encounters... A creepy cryptid encounter and some theories on this little boy and his woodland friend. What do you guys think about that? I want to know, man. I'm dying to hear what you guys think. I love reading your guys' comments. You know, you guys just shine some light on things that I didn't think about. Anyway, guys, with that, I bid you farewell. <laughs>